testing is in a digital form, so you can calculate it, manipulate it. In a paper-based system, you have to extract it first and then put it into a digital media. Because the system works in near real time, um, it allows the auditors to insist on any critical issues or any issues arising to be investigated before the, uh, in this instance, the logs um, can enter the supply chain. So if there's a suspicious transaction, the auditors can insist in real time that action is taken to either resolve that issue or to remove that log from the supply chain, hence guaranteeing the, the assurance of the system in its entirety. The system is absolutely not flexible. You can't change anything here. Everything what has been done in the past is kept in the system for years, stored on the server, and there's no way of changing it. And that's the amazing thing about Track Elite, and that's diff completely different to a paper-based system where you would be able to change records. So once the timber or the assets in the supply chain have been uh, certified as coming from a well-managed, hence forest management certified source, uh, Helvetica technology then tracks each of those individual assets through the supply chain, reconciling the data at each critical control point, and then the, the system does some complex diagnostics to ensure that the, the information is consistent through the supply chain and hence no illegal wood has entered the supply chain. The real-time, always-on validation of 100% of timber supply chain data brings significant benefits to all involved, from logging concessions, plantations, mills and factories, through to buyers, retailers, auditors and government bodies. FLEGT forest law enforcement, governments and trade is aiming to enforce laws that will mean any buyer importing hardwood-based products into the EU will need a license that is only issued if verifiable point of origin, clean chain of custody and legal status can be demonstrated. When you've got FSC certified forestry, there's structure, there's order and there's control. And so logs just can't disappear from a forest. You've got socially beneficial management, so with eagle logging, illegal logging, that money gained from cutting these trees gets lost from the system. Well with FSC certified forest management, um, that money's captured in the system, it goes to the communities, it goes to the government. We support uh, about 21 million of people directly. Uh, uh, for example, with the uh, you know, the something like this as corn plantation and others, uh, and then also we support about 73 millions of people indirectly. So the role of Perumbrutani for the social problem or social issue in Indonesia is very big. Beside the environmental problem and also economic problem. If you can manage forests, you can create uh, a sustainable economy. For a lot of people, you can ensure that people uh, get a decent wage uh, when they're going about their business. And I think at the heart of that is traceability, that if people know that the wood they're buying and the wood they're using comes from forests that are sustainably managed, that are being replenished, where not too much wood is being taken from those forests, where the wider environment is being taken into account, uh, then everybody wins, and, but particularly uh, the people who are likely to win are the people who live there and the people who work in those forests. Bengkale, ya. Berarti with tahun kepengar pun pun tanam. Monyet. Tanamnya apa pak? Tanam jagung. Jagung. Par jagung, tembe. Jagung ni macamnya macam kacang, gitu. Jagung Malay, macam ni. Jadi kapan itu tanam? Tanam jagung kacang terus? Gue ngat tahun ngat jagung Malay. Terus tahun Bengkale. Terus tu yang asal ni kira tentang cara anu apa asal. Garapannya ngaten, ngasal, ngasal ni. Luasannya, biarnya. Biarnya bukan salah luas satu. Track Elite has been deployed at Peritani since February 2006, and is being used to improve inventory and chain of custody control, and to support its moves towards FSC certification. Track Elite will help us. Uh, in order to uh, manage our forest sustainable and then also how we can easier to define which is the legal lock and illegal lock, for example, to combat the illegal logging activities and also 
TechLine will support us to pursue sustainable forest management in Indonesia. Sistem ini akan sangat membantu perhutani di dalam manajemen stok, di dalam mengontrol stok bagi yang ada di hutan seperti ini. Kemudian juga perubahan dari hutan ke TPK, juga manajemen di stok di dalam TPK. Hasil uji coba yang kita lakukan mulai bulan Februari, kita punya keyakinan bahwa sistem ini sangat cocok untuk memonitor bagaimana perubahan-perubahan yang ada di dalam hutan sampai dengan uh, di uh, pabrik. Katakan seperti itu, dan kami punya keyakinan ini sangat membantu sistem sertifikasi dan sistem COC. Walaupun dengan harga balok yang sedikit agak mahal, tapi penjualan uh, plywood juga ya lebih mahal sedikit, jadi mungkin bisa lebih baik. Itu memang ya penting ya, karena dari uh, buyer ya ke pembeli di pasaran dunia terutama negara-negara Eropa yang sudah banyak menuntut pada uh, uh, produk yang FFC. Alveta Technology delivers visibility. Visibility for logging operators and factory managers on what's really happening to their inventory. Telling them which logs aren't moving, which machine operators aren't converting properly. This is visibility that delivers improved profitability in real time. If you implement Tracker Lead, you know where your wood comes from. And if you're an illegal logger, or if you're someone who's getting corruption money in your own pocket by illegal logging, you can't handle that transparency because straight away, Tracker Lead shines a spotlight on this process. First, it's faster report. Second, uh, it's more transparent. Uh, third, uh, it's basically uh, controlled by the third party and we get nothing to hide, so basically we can show everything. Helveta technology will give suppliers and governments the tools to combat the threat that illegal logging poses to the global environment. Alvetus technology allows business, government and non-governmental organisations to jointly deliver solutions to environmental problems, not just in the timber business, but in food, utilities and beyond.